Hi, welcome to The Shed. In this episode, we're going to talk about tetrachords and the major scale. So the major scale, you start on any note, and it follows this formula. You go up a whole step, then a whole step, then a half step, then you go up another whole step, then you have a whole step, a whole step, and a half step. Now, if you look at this formula here, you'll notice that it's two tetrachords that are separated by a whole step. And we can use this to spell our major scales easy. That's what we want. We want things to be easy in theory. So let's start spelling these scales. Let's start on C. So I'm going to start with my C tetrachord, which is C, D, E, F. Go up a whole step, and then I'm just going to play my G tetrachord, G, A, B, C. So I have C tetrachord, G tetrachord. Nice and easy. Let's do this through the circle of fourths. So next is F. So I play my F tetrachord, F, G, A, B flat. Go up a whole step. And then I have C tetrachord, which is C, D, E, F. Next is the B flat. So I play my B flat tetrachord. And then I go up a whole step. And I'm going to play my F tetrachord, F, G, A, B flat. And let's go up to the next one. We have E flat. So we're going to play our E flat tetrachord, E flat, F, G, A flat. Go up a whole step to B flat, C. D, E flat, two tetrachords right there. Next one is A flat. I'm going to play my A flat tetrachord. Go up a whole step, then I have my E flat tetrachord. Next one is D flat or C sharp. I'm going to play those tetrachords. Go up a whole step and play those tetrachords. Next key is G flat. So we're going to play G flat. Go up a whole step to D flat or C sharp, depending on how you're thinking about it. And I'm just going to play that tetrachord. All right, next up, I have the key of C flat or B. So I'm going to play that tetrachord. And then I have the key of G flat or F sharp. Next key is E, so I'm going to play my E tetrachord. E, F sharp, G, A. Go up a whole step. Then I'm going to play my B tetrachord. B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Next we have A, A tetrachord then an E tetrachord. Then I have D, so it's a D tetrachord. Go up a whole step, and then I have an A tetrachord. Last key, we have G, so it's going to be a G tetrachord, and then up a whole step to a D tetrachord. All right, practice saying those, practice playing those. Good luck, and we'll see you in the shed.